be candid with you, in the last five debates with these Republican candidates for governor, they've been plowing the same old ground. Abortion, bad. Governor Whitmer, bad. Taxes, bad. Well, the intent of this public TV debate that was taped this morning at WKAR.org, the intent really was to plow some new ground to give you new information on where the candidates stand. For example, how do they look at Detroit bankruptcy? Was it a good idea? Candidate Saldano, Rebrandt, Kelly and Rinky all said yes, they would have done it if they were governor. It was a three to one vote, however, on putting booze in the stadiums. Uh, the one no vote was Mr. Kelly. It was also three to one on this important issue, General Motors getting $700 million from the state of Michigan for those two EV plants, one in Oakland County, one in Lansing. Three no votes, starting with Kevin Rinky. You would have vetoed that package. I, I would not have signed it the way that it went through. I think she way overpaid for that. Well, wait a second. That was a bipartisan vote. Members of your party voted for that, sir. Doesn't mean that they're right. Would you have supported it? Yes. Uh, isn't that corporate welfare? Well, we have to do everything, and I can understand why the legislature and Governor Whitmer have signed it, but until we change the culture of Michigan, we're going to have to do everything that we can to get businesses back here. This corporate welfare is taking from some of the smaller businesses and is giving to the big businesses. What do you got against creating jobs? Creating jobs is a, a very good thing, but we can't just look at big automakers. What's wrong with corporate welfare? Uh, it, picks, it allows government to pick and choose winners and losers in business, and I'm not about that. I think everybody should have the same playing field, and I don't think the citizens should be funding uh, private industry. And finally this, should the state sell to save you some money, the governor's residence on Mackinac Island, considered to be the biggest plum for any governor in the country. Well, no surprise here, nobody wanted to sell it, although Mr. Saldano did want to rent it. <laughs> Why not? Reporting from Lansing, Tim Skubik, Fox 2 News.